Okay, hi guys. So last week I did this stream on this uh, code post around 703. I explained all the problems. And uh, two of, actually three of these problems were based on advanced binary research. And uh, so I, I, I told you guys if I get 400 likes on this stream, I'll make a video on that. And I got uh, around 700. So here we are. So I'm going to make this uh, video about this problem named aggressive cows or sphere or linkages. You can find the link in the description. And uh, yeah, so the tag is binary search here. And this problem is obviously about advanced binary search. So yeah, let's see what the problem is. So we have a farmer John, he has built a long barn which is uh, uh, which has n stalls. Okay, so there are basically n points and um, the stalls are located along a straight line with positions this, this, this. Okay, so the positions are from uh, like basically points on the number line. Okay, and he has c cows and uh, yeah, so when they, uh, when he puts the cows in the barn, they become aggressive towards each other and farmer John basically doesn't want the cows to hurt each other. Right. So he wants the minimum distance between any two of them uh, to be as large as possible so that they cannot hurt each other. Right. So what is the largest minimum distance? Right. So uh, I want you guys to pause this problem. Think about this for a little bit and then I'll explain. And by the time, let me tell you that this is actually a very important technique. This uh, this is the technique that these are the kind of techniques that help you get from specialist till popular or something like that. Not any advanced technique. These are the type of techniques. Okay. So yeah. So you want to print the largest minimum distance. So first let me explain the question a little bit. Okay. So the problem is something like uh, you have a few stalls, right, which are basically points on number line. So this can be two, this can be three, this can be seven, this can be, uh, I don't know, 15, this can be 70 or something like that. Okay. Now if you place the cows like this, uh, like in these positions, this distance would be 5, this distance would be uh, 63, I think. Yeah. Okay. So this is 5, this is 63. And what's happening is that you want the minimum of these two distances, which is 5. Okay. So 5 is the uh, answer if you place them like this. Right. But you don't have to place them like this. You want to place them in such a way that this, this thing gets maximized. Okay. I think here the best solution would be to place them like this. And... Uh, this distance would be 13, this would be um, 55, I think. Okay, so 13 is your answer. Right. So, uh, actually, to solve this type of problem is actually very, very difficult to do it directly. So, let's try to think of another thing. Let's try to solve a different problem. Okay, so this different problem is something like you are given a D. Okay, so apart from this entire question, you are also given a D. Also given a D. Okay. Uh, value d variable d and what you want to do is you want to say that the cows have to put at least the distance apart okay so cows sorry cows are at least d distance apart okay. yeah so something like this so you want the cows to be at least d distance apart and what that means is let's say if d equals um, i don't know Four, right? So if you put a cow here, you cannot put a cow here. You will have to put a cow here. Then you can put a cow here and you can put a cow here. Something like this, right? Uh, basically, the minimum distance has to be four. So if you put a cow here, you cannot put one here because this distance is only one, right? So that's what you want to do. And uh, yeah. So let's say you are also given a D and cows are at least D distance apart. Okay. So let's say uh, this is the thing that's given and you want to check if it is possible to do it. Okay. So you just have to check if it is possible. So you just have to check if it is possible. Right. So now try to think how we can do this. And let me explain this one. So this one is quite easy. Whatever D is given, uh, it's always beneficial to put the first cow in the first stall. Okay. And then let's say if uh, d equals 4 again, so we know that we cannot put a cow here, but we can put a cow here. So if we can put a cow here, we will definitely put one here because uh, this is just greedy. Uh, this is always beneficial to put a cow here because there's nothing you'll gain by not putting a cow here, right? Obviously, you'll put one here, you'll put one here, you'll put one here. Okay? And what you can do is you can count the maximum number of cows that you can put. Okay, so you can count the maximum number of cows that you can put. And then you just have to check if this count is greater or equal to D or not. 
sorry greater equal to c or not and c is the total number of cow uh, total number of cows right so let's say the code that i have written so i have written a small code for this uh, checking thing okay right so basically i have the variables n and c which are the number of stalls and the number of cows and then i also have all the points so i uh, take them as input uh, here and then uh, yeah uh, i take the points as input and i sort them okay so uh, they are not sorted in the input that's why i have sorted them basically i need these points to be sorted 2 3 7 15 70 etc okay so once i sort them then what we uh, do is we take uh, uh, we make this function check okay and this take some d as an argument okay so this d is just this d okay uh, we are talking about this d here i'm sorry yeah so this is the d that we are talking about and i have to check this thing okay so i have a variable named last and this just stores the last stall in which a cow was placed okay so initially it is minus infinity because we haven't placed any cow right and count is equal to 0 and count is basically the maximum number of cows that can be accommodated so it is uh, just this thing right and i run a loop over all of the stalls and if the current minus last is at least b then we can put a cow here in the i stall so we'll increase the count and we'll put last equal to xi okay and then if the count is at least x then we'll return true otherwise we'll return false okay yeah so this function will work and let's see how we can use this function to uh, get a get a solution get a working solution for this one okay so it it is quite easy i've written the code to that as well okay yeah so this is the code that uh, will work and it will give us the correct answer so you, you can see basically i am running a loop over i from 1 till infinity okay and if uh, check i check of i equals false then i am returning i minus 1 so basically this means that uh, we know that the answer for check 1 will always be true so we are running it uh, one onwards and at any point if it's false then that means that uh, uh, yeah So if any points uh, check i is false, that means at the previous point it was true. So the previous point uh, uh, the answer I think yeah. So okay. So if we cannot uh, place them seven distance apart, but if the loop reached till seven, that means that we could place them six distance apart, and then uh, that's why six is the answer. Okay. So yeah, that that will work. So this uh, gives us a solution, but uh, uh, it is too slow. so it is too slow and it is too slow because this check function runs in o of n time okay so this runs in o of n time okay and then this loop also takes a lot of time this can go like till infinity or something like this we can go uh, till a big value right so yeah now the answer could be up till 10 to power 9 maybe right so Uh, yeah that's why this is too slow okay so now let's see how binary search will come in and uh, yeah so let me uh, basically teach about binary search okay so you guys know the that version that normal version of binary search that everybody knows which is something like you have a sorted array right uh so yeah and you have to check whether an element is present or not and for that you kind of divide the array into two parts and then you see whether this element is bigger or smaller than what you find right so yeah so that's not the type of binary search we're going to talk about today we're going to talk about the advanced binary search and for that i'll start with the easier problem okay let's say you have an array which has only ones and zeros okay and till a long interval uh, all the values are one and after that all the values are zero Right, so you have something like this. Like you have a you have an array in which all the values are one till a point, and after that point everything is zero. Okay, and what you want to do is you want to get the index of this element. So get index of this element. Okay. Right. So for this also I've written a code using linear search. Uh, here linear search is quite easy. What you can do is you can start a loop from here. Okay, and you can keep going to this point. Okay, and whenever you find a zero, ah, oh, sorry, yeah. So whenever you find a zero, 
you can say that this is the answer okay so if uh, you're looping on i and if you say if uh, yeah, this error i equals 0 you can say that i minus 1 is the answer right so you can do this see um so yeah so i've written a code for this one also so this is the uh, code uh, okay so let's say we have an array that, that is uh, quite big okay so we have an array of a lot of elements and let's say this array is uh, of this form like it has one 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 zero 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 okay and we have to find this index we have to find the index of the last one okay so let's say uh, here also i make a check function and this check function is basically checking if that value is one or not otherwise it is false okay if this value is one it returns true otherwise it is false so here is the code for linear search that will work in O n time, O of n time. So in this what I am doing is I am looking through all the values and uh, whenever I get this check to be false like uh, when I recheck this index and the check is false, what I will do is I will just print i minus 1 and I get the answer. Yeah, that is quite obvious. Okay. But uh, here we can also apply binary search. So when applying binary search is quite easy. What you have to do is you have to just uh, divide the array into two parts. Okay, so let's say I divide it into two parts and I'm at this element. Okay, so I know that this element is one. So the answer will be either this element or it will be on the right. Okay, so now I will check for the answer in this range, right? And then uh, I divide into two parts and let's say I get this element. Okay, so if this is zero, that means the answer is in this range. So I go to this part and I then then I perform the binary search on this part and so on, right? So at each step I'm halving the array. So the array has become half at each step. Okay. So this works in O of uh, log n time. Okay. So this works in O of log n time because we are halving the array in each step and we cannot have more than log n steps. Okay. So I have written this function of for binary search. Which basically does the same thing but in O of login time. So it does the same thing that this is doing, but it does that thing in O of login time. And this you can see, uh, I have the lower limit and upper limit as uh, 0 and n minus 1. So these are basically the endpoints of the array. So, like in the beginning, I have the L here and the U here, okay. the lower limit and the upper limit. Okay, cool. So, uh, and I also have a variable answer. In which I'll store the final answer and I'll print it. Okay, cool. So, uh, yeah, so while L is smaller or equal to U, that means while the array has been finished, okay, uh, basically what I'm doing is I'm taking the mid, which is the uh, like dividing it into two halves, and mid is the middle element, okay. So, if I get check of middle equal to true, okay, so this is if check of middle is true. Right. Yeah, so if this is true, that means uh, uh, the answer could be made or greater than that, and I have to go to the right. Okay, so I have to go to the right. It is something like, um, let's say if the mid is this point, that means this could be the answer, or the answer could be to the right. Okay, so I go to the right by increasing the lower limit, right? So earlier this was the lower limit, now I will put the lower limit here. And otherwise, I'll just uh, put the upper limit here. So let's say if this was the mid, and uh, since this is zero, the answer will definitely be on the left. I can uh, remove this thing, this u from here, and put it here. Okay, something like this. Yeah, that's easy. And yeah, so this will store the answer, and I'll print the answer. Okay, this was just basic binary search. Mm, this was basic binary search. And let's see what advanced binary search. Is. So advanced binary search is just like seeing the similarity in these two codes. Okay, so here also you have a check function. Here also uh, you have sorry. Here also you have this uh, linear search version. Okay, I'm sorry. So here also you have the linear search. Okay, and uh, which is too slow. Okay, so here also you had the linear search which was too slow. And here also you had a check function, and here you had something like uh, till a point everything is one one one, and after that uh, everything is zero 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 zero. Okay, so uh, you can see that 
the output of this function with the d will also vary like this right so the output of this function will also be something like this right and uh, this is basically because if you cannot put the cows at least 10 distance apart you definitely cannot put them at least 11 distance right so yeah so the output of this function will also look like this and uh, here also it works like this okay so this check function here also it was 111000 okay and here also it is 111000 okay. so what we can do is we can remove this linear search from here okay and we can use a binary search approach instead okay so i have this binary search approach in which i have n equals 1 and u equals infinity okay and i have a variable answer and everything is the same okay so yeah if, if you see if you match these two codes everything is exactly the same just the lower and upper limits are different so they depend on the problem a bit but uh, everything else is same so if check is equal to 2 that means uh, this might be the answer i'm going more toward the right okay and if check is false i'm going to the left you can see that these codes are exactly the same right and yeah so in this way uh, i'm able to find the uh, maximum d basically maximum d such that the check function returns true and that will be the answer right so you can even see that uh, it worked on the sample case uh, which was 15312849 basically first we sorted these values uh, which, uh, then it became 12489 and uh, if you put the cows at least three distance apart, then you can put all three cows. Okay.